So now 2014 and 15, after high school, we reunited with my friend Jen and we're like, you know what? Um, let's start a trust or an organization. Because Kuda was now in the civic space, given his background as a junior uh, parliamentarian. And I was like, yeah, let's go for it, man. Uh, you know, as we try to uh, arise, we might as well lead others. So during that time, it was, you know, that era when the whole youth empowerment thing was a thing, not a vibe in the government, it was like, it's empowering people. And I was like, yeah, we might as well do it in our own terms, you know, and try to uh, support young people from the local and the island, you know, all of us about it. So we reached out to like, big people to, to come on board is the board of directors and this included a, 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 a lawyer and a town uh, CEO like an RGC uh, CEO and um, this lady also was an established person so these were big people that are talking about and uh, it up until the day I can't believe that we managed to convince them to come on board because these are high level people and um, we also, I, we also reached out to other young people. Uh, we, we taught the A students in high school, and uh, they, 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 they could achieve in life, and they set out to be ambitious as well. So we reached out to a couple of girls and guys, and they, yeah, they were impressed, and they also came on board. And we successfully registered youth and they needed trust. If you go on, youth, on, on Facebook, you actually find the page of it. Um, but unfortunately, Youth and Limited Trust actually never took off because uh, I think we just started out too early and even though we had good intentions, we wanted to empower young people and um, you know, teach them uh, soft skills and technical skills and all that, uh, we did not know, we did not have the skills and knowledge and know-how how to run a trust and how to take off from there. Even though we had a very good, solid, Board uh, of trustees, we actually never took off and got to start off with our programming one day. But uh, I, I would like to, to point out that out of this failure, um, great things came out. You know, uh, my friend Kuda is now, I would say, a renowned civic uh, uh, development person or, you know, um, technician or whatever. Uh, so uh, I would say, that failure taught us a lot of things and it gave us the drive, personally it gave me the drive to actually uh, still move on and try out something different and learn from those mistakes and not to rush things. Um, in, a, in as much as you have a great idea, you need to take a step back and look at how you're going to do things and try to plan them properly and try to bring on board the rightful people. You might approach those established people or uh, professionals, but uh, you know, you're starting out with a new idea. It doesn't, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're gonna be on board, they're gonna be hands on as much as you want them to be. So sometimes it's even really better to start with the novices with your peers, you know, and try to move forward and try and, and learn as you go and not to rush things um, in that sense. So I would say that's like the, the, the greatest failure that I can, that sort of thing was very significant in my life. And when I look back, you know, I wouldn't say the sort of failure because it's a registered organization and we can decide any date, you know, like, could I let's uh, start it up again, let's start it again, let's uh, uh, reorganize the board and uh, rebrand and move on. So I'll say that failure in my life uh, as a young person sort of um, uh, opened up my eyes to the possibilities that I did. To say, what? You know what? I'm, I'm in 2014. I'm, I'm, I already have, I'm already part of a registered organization. You know, I'm part of that. With all the young people out there, you know, uh, I mean, you are at your prime and uh, when you're young so many ideas are going through your mind that you want to try that and try to this you want to sell iphones you want to you know start off like a, a football team or you want to learn how to to code and start your own app and all that i, I would say go for it do not even hesitate again um 
it's great to try out things and learn from them and um, just take each step as it comes and uh, embrace every failure, every hard door in your way because with every um, hard door you learn something, you know, and you get better the next time you press a different hard Because I mean it's a journey. Um, Rome wasn't built in a single day as they say. Um, so you might as well take your time, enjoy the process in as much as it may be bearable. Uh, you might as well have fun while doing it, you know. So try to embrace it and do not back down for anything. One thing that's also important is to believe in what you're doing, you know. Because if you do not believe, then everybody else who's trying to support you, who's looking at whatever you're trying to do, uh, if you start doubting yourself, then what's the point of them supporting you? So I would say go for it. Uh, take every failure as a learning step or as a stepping stone towards uh, the bigger picture, towards the destination that you want to reach.